open up that enemy jungle for the anti-mage to farm around with the blink with that battle fury. Now you pretty much have like infinite sustain. Like, he doesn't even really need to charge up. Oh, he's in care. He has to be careful. Oh, Fisher. that's a three man Fisher. That's holding the boys back. There's the cast counter to Baposhka. Breakdown as well. And the poison ticket through. This is a doom gone. Can't even get out the ultimate. He's gone. Commit one chase for more. Fado's already there with a the wrap round. It's getting slapped by Ghostic. Ghostic quick with the, the blink out. But Vanscore won't be quite as lucky. Chased down and taken out. FN sort of standing around there. But his TP is on cooldown. He can't really escape from this. So. At least it's, it's going to be hard for him. He's got the face boots and the mask of man. It's... Oh, no, yeah. He's messed up. What the heck? He's absolutely fluffed it. Did he have blink up? He's blink up. I don't think so. I don't think he did. I think he just didn't press it. I think he just didn't click it, yeah. Mid lane, mid one again. They're going in. Ghost up with the blink. They've got the death ward onto Maposhka, but with a quick glimpse from Vanscore, we'll cancel the challenge. As you say, look at this Viper. He could just turn and buy buy into Ghostic. Ghostic will put the primal split. Make sure that he himself doesn't go down. They get the kill. Ace turning up, looking for Miposhka. Miposhka falling low, but great controller from the brute. Throwing the anti-mage up in the air, trying to buy some space for Miposhka, but it's not enough. Fisher comes through from Yapsor. That's going to be Miposhka down. Vanscore as well. Empire have lost a couple more. Ghostic as well. After the ultimate, won't be able to blink out in time. He doesn't even need the echo. He walks in. Silent actually in. have the... Silent sold... What is that? Oh no, he's got just... He just has the full MKB finished okay. up. So now they've got... I saw the Echo Saber. Oh, I saw the Echo Saber. Yeah, I was, oh, I was trying to figure out what other item he had. Oh, no, FN is in trouble. He needs to be saved by his team. They're trying to get him out of there, but Fada's on the high ground, and Fada's got him. He's down for 80 seconds. Mid one pops the cheese. Disarm as well onto Silence. Silence still moving in. Disarm now gone. Mid one getting pulled down low, but Yabza comes in with the Echo Slam. Ace jumps into the back lines. They've got the bash. Taking down FN and Silent once. miposhka has gone. Buys back immediately, but Ace is starting to clean up house. He's looking to man up onto Silent, but with Ghost Tick and Fan Score, Miposhka back up. Ace has got to be careful. They're chasing him down. Another stun could cause oh, issues. Oh, that was so, you see how he went into the trees there for a second? The oh, so they couldn't have the vision. Doom. Yeah, oh, no vision. Oh, nice. nice. dead now. Nice. Now he comes back in, Ace. Oh, that was sick. Looks from Eposhka, and this time his Empire all dying. For good this game, there's four down. Silent will buy back. That was a nice little maneuver there. Cutting the tree and going into the little spot for it. That was... Continuing okay. to be on the aggressive here, they have, they have both their blink daggers. Oh, they want to get rid of Ghostic before he gets a chance to get off the ultimate. Have they got enough control with the Echo Slam? They do. That's going to be Ghostic down for 50. FN jumps to the side. Ice Blast comes through. Ace puts the play through. They use the stamp. He's trying to chase FN. But the multiple leaves, he's out of there. Silent comes in for the side. Looking for Midborn, but the Shadow Armor, it doesn't save him. They will bring down Tinker. Midborn gone. Fada turns back towards it. Look at these cast bounces. Absolutely perfect there from Puppy. As he holds the three members of Empire in place. Oh, man. Three dead on Empire. Vanscore almost certainly going to go down as well as Fada jumps in from the tree line. Cuts him down with a double edge. Empire lose four to stop him from, from getting his items. Unless you put a lot of resources towards hunting him down. And Empire yeah. just went. Not really able to do that. They had to look elsewhere. They kept the pressure going on the side of Secret. Like non-stop, the Hex comes out again on Vanscore. Vanscore almost getting cleaned up. Mid one going for the Miposhka target and then for the AA. But yeah, they, they were just constant aggression, giving mid one all the space in the world to get that farm going. But Empire just getting crushed. Fada now getting gone on here. Is he going to be able to get brought down? He gets the stun, but he might die. Might he's not. walking out. I think he's Glimmer. walking out of this one. Glimmer Healing Ward. Okay, he's fine. I'll tell you who won't be as fortunate, Puppy. Oh, Puppy, <laughs> used, Puppy used the, the Glimmer Cape on his teammate there. He did. He saves the cause. He got his job done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is... This one is over. Oh, the, it's the stampede for... For what? Stampede for the slow on the brew. Oh, uh, there's on it. Oh, he tries to manta, but he gets there oh, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah so there we... That's the, the echo, echo, and that's the GG echo. Is that right? <laughs> They're done after that one. We've been, we've sort of been waiting for that echo from him for the for the whole two I games. But he can... I think that's really. A... I'm gonna have to agree with Grant. Thank you. As underrated as Beyonce. I don't think it's underrated at all. She's known as the queen. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of the most loved people Look on out! the backside. They're going in. Life Stealer comes out. Will they be able to get anything done? We do have ultimate stopping Puck's blink, so he can't get away. Unfortunately, Zeus hasn't killed anyone, but Ace has killed the tower top lane. The split push. This guy's nuts. Now middle, they're pushing in. They can't defend both lanes. Flags, where do they go? I don't know, Grant. They're split pushing. And now he's back in the base top. Oh no, they called it out though. Puppy's here taking it, and he's just gonna pop it. They're going with the BKB. They're actually chasing down the centaur. He gets his ulti up. He's still fighting. He popped the pressure shard. Not yet. He's keeping it. He pops yes! it. Will he get? 
get the ulti, he hasn't used it yet. Jeez and Lotro, and actually doing a ton of damage. Ever at that we do see the buyback coming. Green doesn't have it, Night Stalker doesn't have it, Life Stealer doesn't have it. There we go, and he's back alive. This looks like the end of the game. Afterlife does kill Fada, though, so it's not over quite yet. Uh-oh, gee, if he goes down, then it is definitely over, and it's definitely oh. over. Ladies and gentlemen, it was the double centaur ult keeping them alive in that final fight. Jeez. To dictate the pace a little bit better. Here we have it. Reading everything. Oh, there's a sentry down. Tomato will be silenced, but they do have the yule set up into the burst strike. Can they control this storm? They get him in, but it's the same time. Puppy gets the false Can't promise out. Buys time for mid one and he has already melted. Ace is just doing so much with the eclipses in these team fights. They zip forward. Mid one's still alive. Tomato's down. They've lost to a middle feed. Maybe even more. Ace still survives surviving throughout all the chaos. This Luna going absolutely rampant. And that's a five wipe with all five ultis being expended. And I think that's GG He's just chilling sure. down bottom, pushing your right. I mean yeah. that. 13, 14,000 experience lead for them as well. Oh, Puppy is in trouble. Sting comes in with a surprise play. Vita Restoration's out. It's actually, well, it's actually enough to keep Puppy alive. Puppy's gonna survive through that. They're bringing everyone in. Middle feed going for some crazy stuff down on this bottom lane. There's no life stealer for 30 seconds. He does have buyback if he wishes to do so. Cancel jumping in with the dream card. In fact, they're able to take down Puppy. Get the kill, they get out. Tomato pops the stone gaze. And with the ice path, the stone gaze is going to proc on this dragon. He's very, very tanky though. He's got a heart. Do now. they have the damage to kill mid one? I don't think they do. Tomato's got to be careful as they're looking to turn back in on him. Another ice buff holding mid one in place for the Vita Restoration from Puppy, keeping mid one alive. Fada has the Ravage, he gets them all. Everyone getting caught out. Free Mount Fisher comes through. GG, well played, is called. They're out of the mid middle feed. They, they, they've not got a chance here at all in this series. Secret. It's in the racks exposed on the bottom lane. Secret down two members. Ace, of course, no intention of popping a buyback at this stage. He has to keep his goal good for any chance of this game. And Secret just have to let this one go on the bottom. Melee racks fall. The range racks will stay up as the creep wave has been taken out. Back door kicks in, but they get that melee racks very early on. Ace, after having this full free farm, is 0 and 4, unable to find anything because of OG's rotations and just finding him everywhere. Oh, Rezu gets forced up, but he kind of says thanks for that one. Fada pops the stampede. They were trying to catch Rezo out there with that play. Mid one moves into the center of the mall with the Blade Fury. And Secret trying to get their team stuck in, but on the high ground, S was there with the Primal Split, holding back Ace. the rest of Secret. So Ace, again, he's getting caught out time and time again. I don't know what's going on. Secret, they're just falling apart. And OG, they're sticking their teeth in. There's mass buybacks coming out from Secret. Mid one leads forward. Three buybacks coming out from the side of Secret. They have to get some men out of this, but I don't think they're going to get anything at all. OG just walk away out of the base. 9k gold lead just coming out of thin air, and no tails back in. Jumps in with the hex. They force back mid one. They do get the stun on S4, but OG, this this may just even be game over. Secret are absolutely crazy. The huge mana void. Mana void though from Ace says, shut up, Odie Pixel. I'm gonna turn this game around. Two kills for Secret. Yapsel gets the finger. They find the third. They look towards Fly. Mid one moves forward. He's stuck in the kinetic field. But mid lane, the bigger kill is looking looked upon. They're trying to get resolution. They're chasing him down. Still has ages too. Can they they maybe have to kill him twice? There's three members down on OG. They're still trying to chase. Mid one will finish off fly. They've got resolution. They'll bring him down once. Everyone down on OG. They'll look to take him a second time. Instant hex is there from Yapsaw. The man has gone for Rezo. It's a full team wipe. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. He's not killing it fast enough. Fada is smoked up. He's going to be able to get the jump. It seems like here he's about to blink in. There's the time, and he jumps in. He's actually going to go past the pit. Rezo stays back on Roche, but Ace picks them apart on the sidelines. Jarek gets himself across. Roche is still alive. Who's going to get it? Secret are in, but OG get the kill. Rezo picks up the Aegis. Can OG still fight up against this? So Rezo's low on mana. The Manta Style Illusions whittling it down. Mid one does pick off the sideline kill onto No Tail. Rezo turns, takes down Yapsaw, but the chase is continuing. Puppy looking for him. S falls back out of the primal split. Fada holds him back with the hoost on puppy turning towards him mid one's there as well offering the damage required to bring down this brew he's got a bit of evasion from the passive but it's not enough to save him og lose four rezo still trying to desperately take this ages back to base and safety but who's chasing him it's ace he cleans up the two kills in the pit he turns up to the top gets the ages out of the hands of rezo everyone's dead on og no tails buying back but the instance turns there onto rezo rezo is down s4 gets hexed up 
Forest down to the high ground. Oh, no turn, look towards Ace. Just get Lotus on. Fine, very hard for them to catch him. Force kill jumps forward, looking for Puppy. They do have the vision, Puppy should fall. They've got the Stampede, but it jumps and gets the two-man who's up. Ace comes in as well. The Static Storm's down, but they've lost no tail. The Secret, they've got the big kill. And they get more. Rizzo turns towards Fada, jumps him out, but Secret, they're getting the favorable numbers. They've taken down two. The Hex has done from the Yapsil, perfectly controlling resolution. He's been nullified as well. And this That's is looking good pretty grim indeed for OG. There's no buybacks on Rezo, none on no tail. S4 getting hexed up, enjoying that plus five Omni Slash from our, from yeah, I tell you what, that might be the new update, you know, with this new MS and the ping stuff, making it even quicker for you to get out those combos. That is true. OG, they are smoked up. They are trying to take advantage of when Ravage is down. Fly does die. Jarrax missing the boulder smash, but he gets the space for Rezo to finish off the tower. Rezo's Zip forward, now, yes though. he is indeed. Cast gets it as done, S4 comes in trying to hold back Yapsor, but Rezo's fully low, he'll turn, take down Yapsor, he's still alive for now, finally goes down as Fadaf cuts him off. Mid one still playing around with S4, having some fun with the Kaya. Can they actually kill him off though? Mid lane, Ace tries for a swap play, but he has to be a little careful. No tell, lands down the battle right from the high ground, that's the three man, blood right. S4, jumping back in on the action. There's four heroes here, he's got to be careful. Oh, Fly getting grabbed back, still alive, gets the ultimate out, does still have the Grave to rely on. No Tail trying to head into the center of all of this. It is going to land again, a four-man blood ride, but OG, they've lost four. S4 will find the kill onto mid one, and he's on his own now. He's being chased down. Can he really play around this? I want to see S4 turn around and do something amazing. He's thinking about it. The cast comes out. He's, he's still playing with it, but indeed that urn is going to spend the end of S4's life. Here we go. OGM. Gotcha. Fada moving into the midst of it all here. He does get the Ravage out in time. Beautiful start. And he got all five with that one. Setting up the secret to move in. Rezo gets the ball at Gold Scrape and the BKP out. He's able to take down Ace. Now he's looking over for more. Turns towards Puppy. Rezo gets the double kill. He needs to go back and help his team fly by in time for himself with the grave upon his dazzle. But he still falls. They've lost three. The Gold Scrape wearing out. But the stun again from Rezo. He's finding the Absor. Jarek's looking for the control. Does it with the bonus punch. But the refresher Ravage comes out from Fada. He has the control on Rezo. Rezo's gone. Oh, Ultra kill for mid one. Can that man get the rampage? He's looking towards Jackson. Yes, he can. Rampage for mid yeah, this one. This has been an incredibly good performance by Fada here. Everybody on the side of Secret has been putting in their work. From death soil. Good luck. Good luck to Jarex and S4. They've got no, they've got no Reza. Oh, okay, they do get the last one straight away. In fact, with that double four star, they're bringing it back into the base. With the founder beating into the ace, he's going to fall. They do get the kill onto the Ventral Spirit. No tail being kept alive by Fly. Mibble's trying to finish him off. They just need to buy the small time of 60 seconds for Reza to come back in. OG, they're doing their best to keep Secret off the base. Can they actually defend like this? Secret, they're just focusing. The ancient S4 uses a mid one. They're trying to slow this down. S4 dodges Yapsil's crush with his bling. Forces to the side. They pop the glyph. OG by Dabba Fada. He's back in with the 250 damage. Slapping into the ancient. S4 drawing Yapsil mid one away. Fly and no tail. They lay down the blood right. Fada forced back away for a little bit. 30 seconds until Rezo. They need resolution if they want to have any sort of chance he's of holding it. He's this. He's taking it. It's only the these damage. two do it. But indeed, the 250 damage talent paying it out. A secret <laughs> looking to finish 20 seconds until resolution is not going to be short enough. GG well played is called. Secret will pick up the 2-0. But what a series. Position defensively. Everybody kind of sticking together. I mean, can Na'Vi... Can they this, grab it here? seems so impossible for Na'Vi, but it would be amazing to see them pull something big off. Can they do it? Yaps or... Shadow Blades in, dispels the smoke, blinks out. And now just Navi, they've in. just got to get out of there. Again, a lasso onto a Lotus Orb. Mid one just moves into the center of it all with the Eye of the Storms. The Nako's already down. Crystallize is trying to find Fada. Should get the Omni Knight. He does do so, but the Echo Slam from Yabsor indeed is a GG Echo Slam as it wipes them next to the Creep Wave. They won, but this bear is insane. His item build too. The fact that he went for the Shadow Blade, is, is he going to solo kill Crit here? He's going to go for it. He's, oh, they know, though. He's he's Radiant's burning Crit down. There's not a lot the Crit can do about it. The Bear will attack. At least Arteezy was able to get the Avalanche toss off. 
and crit. Oh, no, support's arrived in the form of mid one. One more attack. No, crit still got the regeneration and the cheese available. Again, doesn't want to burn it, but now Farda TP'd onto the back of the bed. The Sharkram silence. Mid one jumps forward. There goes your cheese burn. A Yule Scepter up. Mid one already starts his TP out. They burn the extra oh, advantage of Rushan. Right but again, the bed doing the work. Farda back in with the Sharkram chain. So much damage. Support is arriving in the form of EG. Curse is out, but so is the cold embrace from Yamsaw, giving Farda that little bit of extra time to continue the fight. He'll hookshot himself out of the cogs while Fear caught in the back lines by Puppy. They bring more support forward. Farda, whoo! That's a lot of damage with a swing. Down to 90 HP. It's not enough to live. Arteezy, he's finding back-to-back -back kills, but needs more. Puppy is also finding more and more kills. Arteezy, not enough life to survive. Tree in hand, but nothing to swing with when all his HP is gone. Meanwhile, back at home, it is in trouble. EG are losing tier 4 towers, the creep way pushes, Samael is the man on defense duty, while well, Arteezy wants to keep this battle going up on top, what can he really do but die? It's actually that, he dies, that's it, mid one, TP's forward, they look to keep the attack going, Arteezy, well, at least he's only fighting pigs for the moment and then tossing it back into the shrine, it's gonna be enough! The bear though! Mid one's gonna go down, the bear is doing the work, but at least they got rid of the Death Prophet for now. It's getting low. He's just trying to kite around his team, now TPing on top of that. They're trying to go for the game. Oh, you may as well just buy back and finish the job. The Radiant Ancient down to 1,000 HP. The bear is waiting, prowling, looking for the opportunity while Puppy jumps in close. He's got no hook available for the moment, but here comes the bear, beating into the rack. Savage Roar, creating more space. Then they back off with the bear. No fortification available. They're keeping the defense up here, EG, while far Looking to keep crit out of the fight. The hook shot is nice. They got the, the bear. bear is low. It will drop down. Resummon is not available for a minute. Hold? Even the rocks, it looks like they're going to. Ace is retreating. Too much damage from the Tinker Rockets. The creeps, they're slowly bringing the, the, the shrine down. That now, well, goodbye, oh Bada. They're actually holding. 820 HP on the Radiant Ancient, and Team Secret cannot close this game out. Did you see what happened? Fear laid down a tree so that Arteezy could grab something. Because it was actually too far for him to go down. He needed to defend that Ancient. So he plants some trees, happy little trees all around right now. It makes you think twice about the next attempt. They're going for Roshan. Puppy has Ice Blast available. And with Mass Serpent Wards committed, Roshan is dying, but it's taking time. There's no medallion to work. They instead, they have the Necro books making this happen. But here comes Team Secret. Bar Strike out in the sidelines. Where's that Ice Blast? Right on top of Fear. It's actually quite small because Puppy was so close. Ravages from Universe creates so much space, but the bear is in the middle of it. Fear will drop. Savage Roar forces EG to back off. SK, he will buy back into this game. Yamps will want to be part of this. Then mid one. Back lines, bringing down Io. Some Oh, lost bear. his friend. The bar is right from Yapsor is perfect. They want to keep the run going. Yapsor looking for the body block. Universe got nowhere to hide. Tries to make a break for the tree line, but there's just nowhere to go. Rooted up and brought down. And the one hero that it is left is probably the most least influential hero after Roar is caught. The only thing they needed extra was having Dragon Form again. The Ice Blast is going to be perfect with the bar strike. They hold him in position. And Fear is tossed into the fight. I think Samael has just betrayed his father. They'll move deeper inside the base. Tide Hunter spin him up and towards the air. Still no Ravage available when he hits the ground. At least behind Blink available. But he's trying to fight and bring down the bear. They're removing the armor. Samael trying to fight back into the front lines. The bear is so low. Oh, Ace doesn't have a resummon for it. That's why they're trying to keep it alive. The Necrobook's trying to burn off the rest, but they break. They push him back. Yapsaw is low, but the Ice Blast, it connects on the universe. How is one the bear alive? How is the rest of Team Secret alive? Puppy's being chased down by the rest of the Lycan books and wolves. He's gonna Maybe Arteezy can come through the side. The tree toss will finally get the first kill for EG in this entire fight. But the clap is down. They're trapped in the trees. Everyone's gone bush. Tidehunter is brought down. Chris trying to keep him alive, but here comes your epicenter, lacquering on top. It is all secret. Crit maybe denies himself to the ogres. No, that won't happen. Fada will be there for the last hit. Nas Bivest coming in from EG. Relocate to the front lines, but Arteezy, he Ace. gets locked in. And the double He's fire strong. strike again. And it just, and it just happened. It fell.
<laughs> he like uh, came bottom lane and just killed Artur and then killed Artur again and then killed Artur again. I felt like, yeah, we got this, you know. For this fight to happen, and Puck, he actually TP's to the bottom lane. So he said it's pushing in slowly. They're gonna notice this as soon as Fado yep. shows himself, and he does. Is he's this, gonna orb this, in this direction. Is this the Moogie? Is this the Moogie moment right oh, now? Oh no, this is gonna be a free Roshan right now. They're sending in the Paralyzing illusions. Paralyzing cast, clawing it down. Yeah, nice Soul with the kick. kick. Catches a lot, and the Eclipse Roshan is still goes the way of SCCC. Mid one, he already kills off Slada. They're gonna look for more. Maybe they just have the confidence to take the fight. Because Ace is killing off Faith and Moogie in the back lines. Moogie has to time out the damage, but SCCC, the Guardian Angel, will keep him alive. But for how long? KP is still here, but he's running out of mana. He's running out of life. Puppy Puppy's hiding, just hiding in the trees. He's a piece Somebody of bark right him. now. They don't see him. Finally, he dies. I think he actually died of what? Degen Aura? It was Ace who gets the kill on the KP. The Agassi Mortar will burn. They hold him in position. The Deucer is dying and they are all dead as Ace will claim an ultra kill for Team Secret. Was it a trap? He's just chilling. Yeah. Too bad they changed the level 10 talent. Otherwise, you could right click. Here we go. They're going in onto Puppy. Uh, four heroes. Can he? Oh, okay. All right. It takes a lot. They do okay. get the kill. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, so, it. Oh, it's going to get free. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what a combo. Three heroes just evaporate, oh. and they're going to get a fourth. They close the gap, find the duel. <laughs> Yapso. With that Elder Titan play, that. Miracle going down, of course, but just watch it. The Matuma man. If only Leshrac had. And they're back in the game in real time. They uh, found the combo again. Tree inbound onto mid one. Not quite enough to finish him off. Kuroki looking for the sharp block onto Fada. Fada will be fine. On the sidelines, they found Miracle. Tracks out. Tracked. Ace chasing him down with a rage, but GH is there. Going look at the save, but he's down. They've lost Miracle. Kuro's been tossed in by Matuma man. He has the snowball. Yeah, so keeping himself alive with a voodoo restoration. Mark Shaw looking to close the gap. They have the Shards. Takes down the Wish Doctor, but Liquid, they've lost two. They look towards Matuma man. This time, they've got the detection. They've got the track out. Ace and Puppy chasing him down. GH is there, keeping him alive for the time being. With the tether. Can they finish him? Ace is trying to chase. It's not quite enough. He's got the open wounds. Look for the wraparound. He's trying to to get GH first. Tracks out onto Very both, smart. so he can close the gap. Very Looks for smart. the IO. GH is gone. Matuma Man now alone. Puppy's there with a the wraparound. Ace turns back in. Rage back up. Matuma Man down as well. Liquid getting team wide. That's something. Butter. Come on, man. Didn't he used to play? Oh, no. Yeah, he played for Liquid. There we go. Maybe there's still a bit of Liquid left in him. Yeah. Oh, nice to hold back. Shadow Fiend, though. He's it's caught out on the side. Kill. Found the strike, falling low, but the heal's there for Vadi. Just turns with the raises. Manny up against Matuma, and he takes oh. it down. They've got the jewel onto Mike Control as well. Five last for Kuro, holding back the damage. They'll bring down mid one. Blink out from Mike Control, but Puppy's on the high ground with the brain sap. Takes down the co and now Ace is ready to move forward. Static link onto Kuro. He's building up the damage. He'll look towards Miracle. Miracle morphing into strength. Will waveform away. But Liquid, they're down four. Fada jumps in. Ghost Scepter's there for Miracle, but the control's out from the Elder Titan. They find the stomp into the Fiend's grip. Triple kill for Ace. The buyback's coming out from Liquid, and they're going to need to if they want to hold on. This mid rack's falling low. A secret move in to clean up the middle lane. Mind Control trying to push them back. They don't want to buy back on Miracle. They can't afford to push back the farm of this Morphling. Out by the fire blast, the Saxon Jingu building up. They're trying to get him out of there. Oh, the blast, bring him down low. Miller control oh, jumps in. Can he finish him? It's close. Plasma field from Miracle as he morphs into the Razor. Still not quite enough damage. Razor will be gone. They get the stomp. They get the duel onto Miracle, but it doesn't matter. Fada's losing his life. He's down. Sonic Wave flies through mid one low as well. Pops the BKB, turns with the Razor onto Batu. And Liquid have lost both cores. Whoops. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, anything to say after that? You're going to the finals. We're a team secret into the finals of the major. Uh, I would say, no matter who it is, I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, oh, we well, just sorry. went all the way there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Team Secret, the only team that seems to be able to give you guys any kind of competition lately. And here we are, you're gonna be facing off against them in the finals. Do you know why they're able to beat you guys? I mean, uh, any theories as to why they're the only ones? Um, team Secret is actually uh, one of the best teams in the world. They're extremely good. And uh, they're actually uh, also underestimated by many teams. But in uh, my opinion, Team Secret is top three in the world. They, they can easily beat us. Um, but uh, yeah, we really want to win this time. All right. Well, it sounds like you're not going to be underestimating them all, right? You're going to go bring it everything you got on this last series, girl? I mean, their captain plays Dota for 15 years. I play Dota for 15 years, so...
and only one will survive. 15 years leading up to this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be seeing Team Secret versus Team Liquid in the grand finals of this major coming right up, and we'll shoot it right back to the desk. I'm in back up there. Does he have the defusal now? I he think does. He does. He's got the okay, defusal he's got complete. Up. And level 13, of course, already has that talent, so he does offer a fair bit of punch. And they have their, they're have they gonna have all their ultis up soon. Oh, there we go. They're looking for a team fight up top. They will lose the tier two tower. Homing missile in onto the tide hunter. Mind control jumps forward, but Fada's gonna be fine. He pops the hood, he'll be able to keep himself alive for now. Static Storm does catch out too. Fada goes in with a Ravage on the side, finds two of them, has the setup on the GH. GH getting taken down by Ace. The boat flies through. The Fear will send back mid one and Puppy. Miracle tries for the TP out, but Ace is there with a chase down, gets the double kill. Three members of Liquid, and they have to try and get out of here somehow. But the glimpse comes through. They manage to you know, get him, bring out back the Matuma Man into the torrent. Do they have the damage? They'll surround him. Spy Carapace catching out mid one. He's falling low. Mid mind control jumps in, does finish off the Kunka, but Ace. He's got a triple. He's looking for more. Yapsaw now got back because he takes down a fourth. Kuro's trying to get out. He's not going to make yeah, it. God. Double kill for Yapsaw. Secret get the team. Quite incredible already. No other game has been like this here at the Major. And now Liquid are moving in. Mind Control with a stun. Mid one. He's in Viz. He's trying to set up with the X Mark Torrent onto Mind Control. Does find the combo. Yapsaw putting things to a stop as he sends Miracle to sleep on the side. The pop fortification. TP from Puppy coming in towards the tower. They're still sticking around. Liquid Miracle heading back in. Pops the BKB. Looks towards Puppy. Puppy's going to go down. They find the Disruptor. But Miracle has to back up. The BKB wearing off. They'll lose the bear. 300 gold for Liquid. And they're getting more. They're focusing Miracle without the BKB. He's falling low. They'll force him back. The Ravage from Fighter tickles him, catches him out. Miracle's down. GH pops the Ghost Scepter, but the Shikuchi from Ace bites through. They found three secret, and they're not done yet. They're looking at more by Matuma Man. They have the Gush. They surround Lone Druid. Triple kill for Ace. Yapsaw will die to the bear. His but first Liquid death. have lost four. Very good buy back there by uh, Fada. Even though he didn't have like a crazy amount of time left. Yeah, he had a good amount of time left, actually. Good buy back, though. Getting a big ravage on and those targets. they are going to get the wipe as well. Yep. Control is there from mid one. Ultra kill for Ace as they put a stop to Liquid. Okay, timings. Okay. Timings and... Uh, timings. Hey, Dota, luck is part of the game, guys. That's all skill. All skill. And they call GH. Yeah, they'll look to drag him back into the combo. Oh, he gets the blink off, though. Fada comes ravage. in with the Ravage into Earth Splitter. There's the refresh pop. He's looking for the setup of the second. The Battle Cry immunity allowing the bear to move towards Yapsaw. Yapsaw backs away as he retreats with the Glimmer Cape. Fada surrounded. Fada getting destroyed. There's the next Ravage, but he's still taking so much damage. Midborn trying to help him out. Jumps in. He's looking for the crits. Got gets another one. The third Ravage. Fada still alive. Sets up for the kill on Miracle, but Miracle buys back straight away. The bear moves in and with mind control. They take down Fada. Fada's got the buyback available. He comes in. Miracle pushing in hard off the back of this buyback. Buyback from Fada, buyback from Puppy. Fortification as well as Secret looking to desperately hold whilst Ace is still on the sidelines. Liquid realized that that buyback's unable for the Weaver and they're pushing in hard. They're taking the tier three. They're looking, looking for more. There's no ravages on Fada. They do find the Hex. Static Storm as well coming through. Can they bring this man down? A defensive disruption. Buying time for Miracle for Crow, but the, the crit. Tide bring a crit. It's nearly too much, but the heals. Miracle keeping himself alive with the side getter. They're looking to want Fada. Fada will go down on a dieback if he falls. Can they keep this man alive? They can't! The stunt from Mind Control comes into two! Fada's still alive though! He's backing off! Buyback from Mid-1 finally goes down! Mind Control will be able to finish off the Tide! He's down for good for two minutes! Matuba Man tries to TP, but mid one's there with the control! x mark drags him back! Four staff on Matuba trying to break him out of there! Yapsa holds him in with the Rod of Atos! He's looking for the stomp! He finds it! Another force though to try and separate Matuba Man from Secret! But the Hex is there! x mark and Torrin as well! Matuba Man's caught out! Ace chasing for more! He has the vision for the Glimpse! Poppy's got the control, Yapsul's got the deeps, slaps down Kuro. Phoenix in this game is actually going to get very, very strong. Miracle top, he's getting chased out here by the Radiance, but he's in a very deep spot. Ah. He can't blink. He didn't expect that Radiance, it's only just come out. The rest of Liquid though, coming in for the defense. I don't know Miracle can get through this one, Mike Drummond to my man, turn him. Oh, he gets the blink off. Miracle, he's going to live. He managed. To blink out just in time, gets himself out of the range of the Spark Grave, and Secret, they've lost two. They do get the Ice Blast down onto Matuma Man, and they get Mind Control. So this time, Secret able to buy back pretty hard. They'll surround Kuro. Kuro, could he get himself out of this? GH trying to get a look in onto Ace, but Kuro in a lot of trouble. Ace brings the bear back through. Kuro trying to fly himself away. Ravage actually comes out from Fada as he looks to lock down the Night Stroke as well, and he does find him. Miracle jumps in desperately, looking to finish off Ace. In fact, they do get him. GH able to get the final void to kill off the Lone Druid. He'll almost certainly pay with his life if Yapsa and Puppy can find him. He's looking for the Dukes in the trees, still alive for now. 
but they do spot him out. He silences the Sand King, but with three heroes there, GH will fall as well. GH head up, sort of try and block this one off. They'll back off as the Ice Blast does connect. Being the careful how to commit. Arcordin's tipping into it. Oh, the, the push of D. Can Miracle deal with both of these? That's the question. He's got the Hex on to both. He's trying his best to deal with this split. They may find the bear. BKB's pop. The bear's still alive. He's going back up the racks, but he will get taken down. Oh, that's Supernova just in time as Mind Control nearly falls to the control of the Tempest double. Back in towards to the pit. father has got his eyes on GH. Kuroki and Matuma Man still outside the side of it. Father moves him with the Hex. Drops it down onto GH. Secret going into the pit. Matuma Man pops the Rage. Moving on to Fada, Fada pops the BKB. GH and Matumba trying to take down Fada. Do they have the damage? Liquid, they need backup and they need it now. But look at the base. They've got the split push again. The bear has been TP'd in. Liquid, they're having to deal with this Roach fight. And the base. Oh my goodness. The base. They're going to be in a lot of trouble as well. They do manage to force it back out, back towards the pit. GH has been caught out, blown up by the Ice Blast. No Night Stalker for 100 seconds. Secret, they'll claim Roshan. Liquid just getting pulled apart as there is so much for them to deal with. And now the Wyvern's in trouble. Mind Control comes in with a supernova save, dodging the Ravage for both of them. Instant refresher shard used by the Lone Druid so we can actually have a bear since that second one did die in the mid lane. They're trying to retreat. Secret looking to chase. They've found Kuro. They should be able to find him. Hex, Nullifier, the uh, Silence from the Bloodthorn as well. They've taken down two. Liquid, no buyback on GH or Kuroki. Wait, no, sorry. He popped his refresher orb. Apologies. Ice Blast comes in. He's gonna pass over Matumba Man. Rage is popped. They look towards Yapsil. Fada pops the Ravage, but Matumba Man still with the Rage, trying to fight. He's looking towards the Tempest Double, but yeah, Miracle's been jumped on. He's down for 100. Buyback from him. Buyback from Mind Control. They're trying their best to hold. Matumba Man pops the BKB, but the Rack's are already down. Secret got what they came for. Can Liquid punish them? They'll try and push back Matumba with a Savage Roar. Matumba Man cannot chase Secret out of this. Yapsil comes back in, looking for the Burrow Strike. The There's the second Ravage. He's called Miracle. This is going to be a dieback on Tinker. He's down for two minutes. Secret slowly but surely just breaking down Liquid in this game. And GG will be called Secret take game two. Oh my goodness. What do Liquid do here? How do they... They pick themselves up from this sort of start down bottom. Yapsil finds the vision onto GH. GH turns with the telekinesis. They're trying to bind to Yapsil. He gets the fade bolt out with that damage reduction. Liquid can't finish him, and now they have to run. They'll get the root down onto two. Fada comes in with the teleport. So does Mind Control. He's trying to help Liquid react. They do have to the save everyone from Liquid coming in. They have to somehow turn this around, and they do find Ace. Mind Control in trouble, though. The plasma field is mid one. He says, we'll bring everyone down here. All members coming in for this action down bottom. Liquid moving forward, but GH is down. Fada now on a killing spree, Matuma and Kuro falling low. Kuro goes in with the decay, it's not quite enough damage to take down mid one. His razor will survive. Fada continue to chase. The root catches onto three, closing the gap, finding the firestorm. Double That's kill Matu. for Fada. He hits onto Matu as well. Wrath of nature and an Omni Knight heal if he can get it on somebody who are a creep or a creep who's in the front. And that was Guardian Angel. Oh, and they're gonna catch out GH. He heads up. But there, they're ready and waiting. The rest of Liquid's still around. They'll get the decay, but the grip, the Fiend's grip holding Kura in place. Puppies found him. They've lost two. There's gonna be a buyback from GH. Liquid trying to throw everything into this fight. Desperately looking for kills. They will find Razor. Can they get more? They turn towards Ace. Ace getting swapped back. They're trying to block him up with the Triers. Fudder's there with the pit. Ace falling low. Miracle slowly bringing him down. Ace still alive. Crimson, guard. The Crimson guard. Keeping him alive. They can't finish him off. The right clicks with GH shut up, but the magic missile will be. Liquid do claim two cores. They need more though. Puppies out with the TP. Fudder and Yaps are being they're forced back. For they're expecting this. I saw Puppy pinging it. They, they over did have a ward down. It may have caught the, uh, sort yeah. of the edge of the smoke. Puppy Here we have watching. it. Who's going to start off? They put out the Rave of Terror. We can't get the swap though. They've got to be careful. They're swapping mid one on the front of it. They try and fight. They drop down the tombstone. Gust down onto three. Forcing them back. Mind control turning up as well. They have the sprout down. Crimson Guard pop by Fada. They're bringing Ace and Puppy down low. Liquid still keeping themselves strong. The tombstone being kept alive. They pop the GA. Liquid trying to re-engage as the Crimson Guard will now wear off. Secret actually backing up. Respecting Liquid here this stage. Hurricane Pike forward as he's trying to get involved. But oh no, he Hurricane Pikes himself into death. Miracle's gone. Kuro tries to TP out. He will not make it. Double kill for mid one. Fada cleans up GH as Should well. Should be a Rax here for Secret. Absolutely. The damage that comes through with this eye at the storm. Fada having an insane amount of stacks with the Atrophy Ori. He's got 205 at the moment. They get the silence. Miracle backing off. 
30 seconds, no Venge. They're continuing on to mid, too. 65, no Nature's Profit. Oh Secret. God. Damage on the racks. Look at it go down. Absolutely. The Ice Storm will wear off. Miracle again being enfeebled. He just can't touch this Underlord. Oh, Fod is just taunting him now. Oh, Secret. Have they just done it here? Can Liquid really hold this? It doesn't look great for them. They're moving on to the third set of racks. Secret going for these Megas. We're quite some he's there to 30k advantage. Puppy gets turned towards he finds the Fiends, good turns around automatically. They get the bash as well. Matsu Trouble does get the free man purification through, but they're falling so fast. Liquid, they'll lose the Omni Knight, they'll lose the Ventral Spirit. Everyone falling, only Miracle able to get up, but it doesn't matter. GG is cool. Team Secret are your ROG Dream League major champions Holy as they take crap. down Liquid 3 to 0 in such a fashion, too, in that last game. Liquid started to kind of inch back a little bit, but Secret overall making such incredible calls. Puppy and his lads. What a win indeed wow. for this team. Puppy, Ace, Yapsil, mid one, and Fada. That puts them at the top, right? Of the qualifying points, yep. That does put them at the top, top of the uh, DPC. Well deserved as well. They have been coming into their own as this team with Fada as well as Ace with their new pickups, they are looking unstoppable. Now, what a performance across the board. I mean, what a great series. Sure, it was 3-0, but Liquid, they showed us some incredible fights in both game one and game two. But this game three, just a testament to the incredible drafting the Secret can come out with sometime. They had all the answers for what Liquid wanted to try and do. Farters, Underlord, just off the charts. Yeah. That, I mean, the, getting the double kill at the start, everything just fell off for Liquid from that point. You know, I think, I think Fada might be my MVP of this tournament. He looked incredibly good. Finally he breaks that second so place much. curse. And yeah, he has, and there it is, Puppy. Holding that beautiful trophy. What a win, indeed, for Team Secret. They have got to be feeling over the moon. Taking the title here, major champions. Some of them have done it before, some of them are new to this sort of success. But uh, you can be assured that they they're going to get hungry for the taste of this. And as you say, you have got to watch this team coming into any future land. This is, without a doubt, the new team to watch. Taking down Liquid in this fashion.